Hi Aquarius, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Aquarius in your chart. Um, if this is your first time here, I hope you like and subscribe and then share it with a friend as I build up Told Us Love to get to a thousand subscribers, the next level of YouTube as I like to call it. Um, I tried to do a reading for you the other day and I was I've had Aquarius in my mind for a while now and life happens and you get busy and I go with the flow of how I feel I don't force a reading um, <clears throat> but the other day when I was like I'm gonna do an Aquarius reading today Aquarius I was ready ready and then they started lawn care next door like the landscapers were here so I knew that that was bound to be hours worth of noise. Noise, because it's right there. So I ended up being, for whatever, well actually I don't understand why, but I was so annoyed that I couldn't do this reading um, that I like finally was like, F it, and I just walked away. I tried two times to get an Aquarius reading out, but then the noise would start up again, or, like it would be in the distance and then all of a sudden it was over here and I finally was like let's just wait maybe there's a reason why we need to wait so Aquarius I'm about to start your reading and I have a pre message for you because it's the things that I started thinking about right before this reading as I was getting ready for it it's not gonna resonate for everyone make sure to like and let me know if it does if it doesn't resonate, that's all right. Just go check out the other signs in your chart. But I started feeling, and I guess this is when people would say this could be <clears throat> a trigger. So if uh, a physical, anything physical, um, fighting is a trigger to you. So maybe not want to watch this, but... It's such a bizarre message, but I'm just gonna say it. It's like someone is thinking about the beatings, the like, that they caught as a kid, or I feel like someone is around children and there's some sort of inner childhood wound being like, um, addressed or um notice like a there's something here about thinking about like how one was treated as a child maybe you have children around you or there's someone with a child or you're thinking about children and you're thinking about the childhood that you had and um yours was definitely one that or with someone around you um, included physical um, punishment. We'll put it as that. It's the only thing that popped into my head. Pray on it. This is so weird because I just was going to make a TikTok about this. I think I did and then I saved it. Just because I was worried, like, sometimes I understand my wording. It's like I can't get out the right understanding of what I'm trying to say. So then I just decide, all right, fuck it. I'm just not going to say this. But this is making me think about um, a TikTok I was just going to put up that was basically saying if you are in a situation or um it's like some you can't unable to control a person or a situation the best thing to do is to pray on it and i said i know there are people that are not uh believers and quote unquote god or whatever whatever it is you believe in talk to the universe talk to baby jesus talk to mother nature Talk to the stars. Talk to your pet for cripes sake. If you can see like a bigger understanding or a belief or whatever, praying on it is talking aloud 
what you hope will happen. Um, I would also, <clears throat> just this one card, and I've already, this is why it had to have happened like this. Because I'm also laughing too at, I've heard a lawnmower this morning. I've, I was like, of course I can hear a lawnmower when I want to start this Aquarius reading. So all the synchronicities. But I'm really, I think this is really funny. Prey on it just came out and cheating is here. I also had a message too of, this goes back to what I was saying, thinking about the children or your being around children. Someone used to have a much more active social life or a bigger circle and their circle has become very small and I feel like it's almost like your world has become centered around children maybe wanting children I feel like there's an Aquarius here who is known by people or well known by people and they've just kind of um they're starting to focus it could be even like your brother's kids your sister's kids you're like focusing on the family and I just keep hearing children too someone could be looking back at their old like childhood stuff experiencing old childhood wounds and the answer is to pray on it just say aloud the things that you want to happen and are looking for help for focus on yourself what you can control trust your instincts your gut this is such a big message Aquarius this is I, I'm getting a bit I cannot believe I'm hearing a lawnmower I can't believe I've already said like this word and now it's here. It's almost like Aquarius, you, <sighs> it's a deja vu of almost like going through something with someone that you went through when you were younger or you saw other people go through it when you were young and now you're an adult going through it and it's like, <clears throat> you're being kept a secret kinky wow these colors all match right now blue blue orange orange red I'm glad I took a chance with you going back to like the Aquarius I said had a big circle there was also something about like dating you you used to date a lot or you dated many people and now you're just you don't do that anymore or you don't want to do that it may be not even that you don't want to do it it's that this is just where life is right now <clears throat> I feel like I'm looking at and who is she oh and who is he and cheating is at the bottom oh, man I've talked about the weather on this channel oh, if you're in New England it's gotten cold like boom I had the AC running last within the week and now I'm sitting here shivering going shit I wish I had put on that sweatshirt I'd gotten it in Salem it says not all witches are from Salem I mean there's also a message here eight of um is that eight yeah Eight of Pentacles reverse. There's also a message here, a more uh, feeling of like um, another eight. You could be dealing with a Leo. I'm also getting like strong um, mental energy, strong. Um, saying like strong communication skills or like you have strong communication maybe you're a strong person and you say things maybe make that you do this from for as a job to make money in some way shape or form um someone could have red hair here <clears throat> 
I feel like if there's an Aquarius who's disappeared on people and part of like the focusing on maybe the family or whatnot, it's also someone who's been at work. They've like kept themselves at work, kept themselves busy, kept themselves focused on that. Um, there's definitely a message here. I want to say right off the rip of someone doing something at work or through work or for work. And it's sexual in nature. This is someone who it's a secret. Someone is, um, preyed upon P R E Y. Someone is prayed for like, I'm also get like celebrity status, like you are prayed, praised, but it's uh, P-R-E-Y, prayed on. And I feel like you know this, it's almost like um, you have an internal system when someone is trying to dig, take a dig or um, it's like take a subliminal shot at you or There's something with cheating, you're being kept a secret, kinky. I'm glad I took a chance with you. Someone may be in a relationship and have a feeling like their, their instincts, their gut is being triggered, they're preying on it. Um, That's interesting. Um, the Hierophant. Gosh, why am I thinking now about um, the Celtics coach? I don't know his name. I've only been reading it. I'd butcher it. The man who was married to Nia Long and cheated on her. <laughs> I hate to go straight. I hate to have a reading like that. Because that's not what it, I'm told is love, okay? But this is, um, holy shit. Someone is either fighting the urge to begin something with you or um, it's or it's already begun like this is something where there's um, I'm hearing sexual tension a lot of sexual tension this could be with someone's boss at work or someone who was like a the boss someone in a position where you're not supposed to have sexual tension with this person Maybe it's never been talked about like you like there is no um maybe there is no cheating going on but someone trusts their guts and instincts that it's like someone maybe would cheat and is like This could be something that is like purely physical was pu like physical driven in the beginning and it and like sexual based and it got um pretty s it turned into something maybe this person gives off the feeling of the boss they might not even be. Whoa. Oh, maybe that's their like kink. Some sort of dom sub thing going on here. Yes, yes, I can tie this in. I can understand it. Some sort of sexual, um, pretty kinky. 
some sexy, kinky shit in the bedroom. We're talking safe words. We're talking safe colors. We're talking hot damn. Like, I think, and I'm even thinking that those triggered words aren't even a negative. This is a sexually triggered, like, I don't know what it feels like. <laughs> I don't even know why this would come into my head, but it's like you feeling your pulse in your dick. Is that how it happens when you start to begin? <laughs> it's like feeling a throb down there and like you've been triggered sexually. Wow, that was an interesting mm, Aquarius. You always have the sexiest readings. Two of Pentacles. The Magician, Gemini, and Aries energy. Six of Wands. This is my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Uh, card. Justice, that's Libra energy. Ace of Pentacles reverse, and then the star is looking at me reversed. So that's Aquarius energy. So air energy is here without even the too many swords. Um, oh my gosh, this is still so like, someone is like putting in the praying and the like, Shit, and I even want to say it's P-R-E-Y. It's like this is someone who wants you or you've wanted them, however it resonates, and they've been preying on you. Like they've been watching or um, if even if they haven't been actually watching, it's they've kept looping back around. They've kept coming back. They don't disappear. I mean, Mercury is in retrograde right now. Maybe we have people you're hearing from the past like I've heard from within the the past three weeks people from the past that I have heard from or thought of that every time they pop up it's like whack-a-mole at the mercury retrograde game like up oh, there's another one <laughs> it's me with the whack-a-moles all the uh people events situations Someone is very, very attractive, whether I'm even feeling like whether they know it or not, like this is a very attractive person. There's still something here with red hair. There's also something here about like working on one sexuality or working with one sexuality. Um, Page of Wands reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. Whoa. I feel like this is someone who is worried about um, something that they want to do or something that they've begun. This page of wands is the beginning of um, an undertaking, I'm hearing. Someone learning how to be an undertaker. Someone has been stressing about um, money. I'm getting heavy, like how am I going to um, afford what I said I would do? Or like how am I gonna afford doing what I need to do? reversed 
Seven of Pentacles reversed. Strength, Leo energy, the Tower. Two of Wands. High Priestess. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. All right, what I what I'm seeing is like again, someone has taken on something taken on a responsibility and it's they're not happy they're stressed out I feel like they're keeping it a secret I feel like someone ha is it's almost like they wish they hadn't taken this beginning they wish they hadn't made this taken this job they wish they hadn't um I keep hearing like wish they didn't have this beginning This could be like a school thing. Like wished you didn't have to, wished you hadn't signed up for this class or wished you hadn't signed up to do this. Maybe you're teaching it. King of Wands. I feel like there's someone here who doesn't feel confident um, financially. Nine of Wands reversed. King of Cups. Nine of Cups. Um, it's like, how do I describe what I'm thinking right now? I feel like emotionally there's an Aquarius here who's in a really good place. Financially, they aren't though. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune, Fortune is in reverse. Ten of Cups. And this is something that someone, I just saw the devil, yeah. This is a project or something someone, an undertaking that someone signed up for, King of Pentacles reversed, and um, if this, if someone has kind of like shunned away or blocked people away or kind of like hidden away, it's because Ace of Cups. It's not for emotional reasons. Ace of Swords reverse. I'm even hearing like stopped communicating. Um, this person is doing well emotionally. I have a door, a door over there that's, I think, opening and closing. It's bugging me out. I'm getting a feeling of someone who's like even getting love offers, but they're not accepting them. Like this is someone who's not, who hasn't been dating or isn't dating. Um, this is someone who's been looking at where they're giving their love. This is what I'm talking about when I said someone is, um, has been focusing on kids or family. Um, this is someone who was once um much more out and social and maybe was even known for that and now they're just not because their their finances aren't up maybe there's more financial responsibilities than there were before three of wands reverse but i'm also getting a feeling of um the empress reverse Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Someone has been focusing on what it is they are trying to build and um, um, what's the word? The project, the undertaking. I'm thinking too. It could. It literally could be like someone's kids. Your you promise to raise this these kids or help raise these kids and your um focus has been on that this 
someone is not putting love for themselves first. Um, eight, we're back to eights at the end of this. Eight of cups. Wheel of fortune is now upright. I get that someone went through a transformation or is going through a transformation. Um, there's leaving behind like old Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. These are all positive cards now. I feel like this is what's going to happen because someone, all right, all right, hear me on this. I feel like someone is in a moment in time in their life. It could be a, as big as like within the past few years or just literally within this year or like literally like within the past six months. I don't know, but the things that they have been doing, the, the, um, Focusing more on family, maybe going or going back to school, focusing more on smaller circles, trusting their instincts and gut, preying on it more. Um, I feel like someone has seemed to like disappear on people, or it's, I almost get a, a feeling like it seems like you don't have a life. Aquarius or this is how you perceive this person and it's not because of something emotional to me which means like it's not like it's a depression or a sadness some heartache that is making it it that this person has disappeared it's not that at all it's actually the opposite they are focusing on a project or people in their life and manifesting this life that they want, which has um, stability, it has a happy home, it has love in it. I feel like someone right now is, I'm hearing, in the trenches, their fortune is down, but they're taking care of business themselves. This is also why someone is focusing on um just what they need in their small circle because they're taking care of business it's almost there's an element of growing up here like they're not interested in being viewed as flashy or even being seen out there anymore they're more focused on living a life where they are conducive to having a family or living a life where they're showing the universe that they want to be a parent um want to have a white house with the picket fence um i feel like whatever you're doing right now in this time of like dipping away is going to bring about future the future happiness and wheel of fortune that you're looking for there's something here about i'm thinking even standards the emperor just came flying out as i said standards the boss the one in charge this literally could be a business that you're beginning and you will be in charge but i also think it could be like a family like wanting a family um it's almost like seeing what other people have done and created and you want it for yourself as well ace of pentacles yeah wanting it yourself but doing it yourself someone is literally like taking off the gloves and doing the dirty work themselves because they're showing that they can do it and um like doing the hard work doing the the emotional work putting in the effort because they want this in their life they want this change they want this transformation the lovers reversed death reverse scorpio and gemini energy and the empress reversed again 
I feel like someone is like, <sighs> these are the things that they want. The lovers, they want to be the empress. The empress is here in reverse twice with justice right here and the emperor is out. And I just feel like um, if it's not all just the same person, this is someone who is like wanting to be that role and is putting in work and changes in their life so they can be that role or get to that role. Does this make sense? Hopefully it does. Because to me, this is a lot of like, if you want to walk the walk, like, yeah, don't just talk the talk, walk the walk. Like, if you want to be a great um, dog mom, this is someone who's putting in the effort to be a great dog mom, like taking their dog places and like treating their dog like, a fur baby would and um it's kind of a crazy analogy but if it's a business if it's something that you're growing it's no like putting in the effort and um not focusing on like stupid shit <laughs> like going out or freaking dating or whatever you're focused on your business and you're putting your energy on into your business because you're building towards this change because you want it. This has given me a very strong manifestation vibes, especially with that magician right here. This is like, I'm hearing, uh, what is that? Rocky Hara? Don't dream it, be it. This is someone who wants to be a father so is child proofing his life and he doesn't even have a child yet this is a woman who wants to be a mom so she's making herself as healthy as possible so her body and lifestyle and everything is more conducive to being a healthy mom this is someone who wants to be the boss of their own company so they start living a healthier lifestyle so they can work during hours where it's better for their clientele and they can do more for their clientele because they live a healthier lifestyle and it's all building towards this dream. Wow. What a great reading. If you're in the trenches, Aquarius, and this resonates, Keep going, keep going, keep building, keep building, keep manifesting, keep picturing it. Don't just imagine it, start acting like it. If you want to be the boss of the company, walk around your damn apartment like you're the boss of the company. If you want to be a mom or a parent, I don't know why I'm stuck on the parent thing too, but start... um living healthier lifestyles as if you were a parent with a child to take care of the next day. Can't be going out partying all night with a baby to wake up to the next day. You gotta act accordingly. So I feel like um, this is actually a really nice reading. I really like this Aquarius. Please let me know, as always, if it resonates. If this doesn't resonate for you, it's all right. Just go check out the other signs in your chart. If you'd like to send your girl a donation because you liked the reading so much, you can do so at my Venmo or Cash App. I really appreciate it as I do build up Tolda's Love to be my own little source of income. So, as always, stay happy, healthy, and well, and... I'll see you next time.